What's up, guys, and welcome back to our Road to Nebula series here on BO6 Zombies. And in our last video, our top comment was from Cam saying that they want us to get the Sigma done on Terminus, but we cannot use PhD. So that's what we're doing today. If you have any suggestions for what weapon you want to see us do next, go ahead and leave it in a comment down below. I'll have a comment down there as well with every weapon that we've already completed. So make sure you check that out first. That way we don't get any repeats. Now, I'm not going to lie. When I first saw this as the challenge, I was a little bit nervous because most of the time when you're using an explosive weapon, you want to use PhD because that way you're not going to do self-explosive damage and be the one to take yourself out and give yourself those downs. But in this world, you're either a smart fella or a fart smeller. And let me tell you, I just shit my pants because I have a plan. We have a nice little strategy that I think is actually going to be pretty fun to pull off here. So obviously here in these early rounds, we'll be able to just melee the zombies. We don't even have to worry about shooting a rocket and doing any damage to ourselves. We only have to really worry about the zombies kind of hitting back. But I went ahead and I put together a nice little combination of gobble gums that's going to help us out a lot with this. But honestly, I don't even think we need PhD. As you see right here, we got the gobble gum free fire. And I've seen clips on uh, Twitter of people actually using the Sigma in the boss fight and being able to take out the boss pretty quickly, but they are using, you know, pack a punch and PHD and all that stuff. I still think that we can do a pretty good job without all that. And I think our plan here is a little bit more difficult to explain. So I just rather show you guys, uh, let's just work on getting power on melee all these zombies which are a two hit kill now on round two over here but hopefully if we can get our hidden power gobble gum we can get this all the way up to legendary very quickly and we should be able to keep up damage wise because kind of similarly to the lr762 and the g54 whatever the the mustang and sally's this is another weapon where when you're camo grinding with it i really don't think that you want to pack a punch it or at least you want to hold off on pack a punching it for as long as you can because for whatever reason after pack a punch this does not have the greatest splash damage and i think we can get pretty far without pack a punching it because it still does some pretty decent damage oh and there's our hidden power gobble gum that we we're just talking about give me that let's use that right away nice little legendary launcher and now we should be able to just decimate anything for a, at least the foreseeable future but we will have to pack a punch it at some point because one of our special camo challenges today that we have to get done is getting 300 kills while to pack a punch and we also need to get like 30 to 50 vermin kills i'm pretty sure which actually might take a bit to get done and that's all after we go ahead and get our 2,000 normal kills which i'm already at about a thousand and then once all that's done our mystic gold challenge is to get three kills with one rocket 15 times which i'm hoping we can get up to mystic gold as fast as possible and start out that challenge because i feel like that is going to be the hardest camo challenge for us to complete today oh um, we're getting a bug round this is something that i did not prepare for i almost kind of forgot that there is bugs on here so maybe i'm not as uh ready to go for this challenge as i thought because these bad boys are going to be a little bit difficult to take down with this launcher i need to get them at least near something where i can shoot a wall and get them with splash damage or maybe i can actually just direct impact them let's see Let's see if my multiplayer practice can come into play here. Okay. And since we aren't going to be pack-a-punching for a bit, we're only going to have a very limited number of rockets to complete this. So we got to always make sure we know where the ammo crates are at. We finally got enough money to start up our machine. Oh, and we don't got enough health to be messing around like this. Let's grab more ammo. There's a vermin. A little max ammo. I'm glad I just bought some. And I think we will be good to get power on here. We're, we're cutting it a little close. There we go. Why well, don't all you guys go ahead and surround the decoy. I'm trying to save as many rockets as we can here. We're rationing. Ooh! That is a fat amount of kills. In an insta-kill, you can save even more rockets. Come here. Sit down. Oh, and of course, the, the classic double points spawning at the end of the round. We love to see it. But we do have enough scrap to go ahead and get an ammo mod on this. What should we get? I'm thinking we got to go for dead wire because I'm pretty sure that's what the amalgamations are weak to. And that's probably going to be the toughest thing to take out on this map. But it's looking like our field upgrade is finally ready to go. And it's looking like I can show you guys my nice little discovery that I made while preparing for this video. So we activate Frenzy Guard here and check this out. I can shoot at my feet all I want with no PhD because all that happens to me, the only damage that I take while in Frenzy Guard is to my armor. 
And I don't take that much armor from these explosives or that much armor damage, I should say. But as you saw right there, we did run out of ammo in the middle of it. So every time we activate it, we need to be standing right next to an ammo box. And we should just be able to take out almost an entire round of zombies without even having to pack a punch. Oh, and we got a nice little Sam trial here. Let's see if we can get some perks for free. Oh, standstill trial. Should be easy enough. As long as we don't knock ourselves. Ah, we definitely need to grab some speed cola. That's really hurting us right now. Because not only will it help us with this very slow reload speed, but we can also get our field upgrade a bit faster. But our trial is done. We cleaned it. Can we get some free speed cola? Oh, look at that. The game was listening. Was that a radar or was that runaway playing over the speaker? Who gotcha? Who gotcha? Who gotcha? We have one vermin left and a decent amount of money. We should go and try to pick up some perks while we can. And you might already be thinking, why don't I pick up melee macchiato? Since we're already trying to melee a few zombies here, I could extend my uh, ability to get some melee kills with the launcher into some later rounds. But unfortunately, with melee macchiato, you get that little punch animation instead of actually hitting with your weapon when you go to melee. So in theory, it would be really good for us trying to save some rockets but honestly it, it just don't work that great but we should pick up some tier two armor because i have a feeling we'll be taking quite a few hits today no social distancing challenge going on here we should also pick up jug because with our augment for it whenever we get an armor plate broken it should stun the zombies around us which uh, could give us an extra second to think if we need it which i probably will i, I am known to think very slowly and after that we're pretty broke so you guys can finally die but we are right by an ammo cache. Let's wait for some zombies to spawn in. Let's activate it. Wait for our wand to go down. Now we can pick this up. And now we can just spam. We don't even have to un-aim until we, we buy ammo. This is the sick part about these frenzy guard augments. Is that it basically works like ring of fire. And we won't have to sit there and constantly reload. And we're just also not taking splash damage. It's a nice little two-in-one. So we'll activate it again now that we got more zombies. We can absolutely just clean rounds like this. Grab that. Go back for our double points. And keep it moving. I even have to know where the zombies are at. I'm just spamming. And it don't even cost us anything to buy ammo for it. It's literally 250 points. That's nothing. And what's this trial for? Oh my god, it gave me PhD. This don't count. You guys can't be mad at me. I was not a willing participant. Well, I was, but I didn't I didn't go and buy PhD on my own. I will finish the trial though. I won't, I won't use my, my rockets at all while I got it. I'll try not to. We can actually just end this trial pretty easily. Let's throw a decoy. Let me head up here. Hit him with a nice, how you doing? I did not kill them all. This should finish it up. Perfect. And PhD, get out of here. Scram. What do we get for that? Oh, cashmere. Uh, decoys actually might be more useful today, at least for right now. Well, let's grab stamina up. Not only will we be able to actually outrun the zombies here and make our training a bit easier, but I do have an augment where whenever I get kills with equipment, my movement speed gets insanely fast. So if I'm ever in a pickle, I should just be able to just take off and go. And I think I want to actually grab another weapon here because there might be a few things that we got to do throughout this challenge or throughout trying to progress in the Easter egg because I do want to try out the free fire uh, gobble gum against patient 13 if I can get to it. But there might be a few steps throughout the Easter egg where a gun is probably better to have. And while we're in the area in the elemental elevator, take me down there and maybe give me that side Easter egg where there's a jump scare. <gasps> Let's go! Finally! Oh, shit! Dude, this is actually so sick. Let's go, dude. I've only been able to get this to activate from outside the elevator on accident. I finally got it. I just love how much effort and thought went into this game. Even just all the side Easter eggs are so sick. Oh! Damn, I did not think it was going to go down that fast. But while we're down here, I can pack a punch our secondary weapon. I already went ahead and put dead wire on it. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the wonder weapon room just in case we need it. Because this might be a good place to grind out the camos. Give me that, you clever minx. Let's activate this. Probably should have done it near an ammo. That's fine. We make do. Country girls make do. Ain't that right, Mangler? Oh shit, my frenzy's off. Don't talk to me. Stay away. Ooh, a legendary loot key. Let's go gambling. An amalgamation just spawned. Hold on. Let's see what we're doing against him. What's the damage looking like on you? We take you out. 
Yes, no. I, I killed the zombie that was next to him. Not him. What about now? That zombie just... They keep eating shots for him. Oh, that nuke would be nice. But, can't do it. I'm going in here. We'll deal with the amalgamation in a minute. What we got in here? A mutant injector? Gimme. That'll be a nice little oh shit button for us. Oh, you did not despawn with that. Okay. I thought you at least moved areas. Why are you not dying? Sir, I need you to sit down. These things are going to be more of a problem than I thought. Did we kill him? No. So is it really crit damage that does the most to him? Should we grab Deadshot for this? Because look at him. We got him toasted. These rockets are cooking them, just not in the way that we need them to. We might actually just have to use this. There we go. You know, we had to take out one of his heads. Maybe I wasn't patient enough. He went down pretty fast. How do I activate this side Easter egg? Supposedly, I just got to shoot these two towers with dead wire. I did get a hit marker there, but it might have been the zombie walking in front of me. Just doing anything? I don't think so. Let me look this up. Okay, so I was shooting at the right things. I just don't think I was hitting the right spot. There we go. Oh, we got our whiteout camo. So we're all done. Oh, nope. We're not all done. That's 1,500 eliminations. We still need 500 more. But that's also activated now. But now that we've done that, we should be able to activate the void cannon. Is it going to take out the meteor? It should be, right? You going to hit that bad boy? It's shooting way up in the air. I messed something up. Did I need to do that in the same round? I think it might have needed to suck up a few zombies or something. All right. Well, you can tell I'm, I'm very prepared for this part. No time like the present. Or as I like to call it, the now. That was very deep, Strauss. You're a very deep thinker. No! That might knock me. Holy shit. Unless you want your... Ikoi? No! Damn it! Well, there goes a self-revive. That sucks a lot. That really uh, throws a wrench in our plans. We got to grab another self-revive back. Move, damn it. All right, well, I think our side Easter egg plans are uh, out the window. We need to start preparing for not being able to do it. Now, watch me guess this. I don't even need your help, Peck. I can get this first try. No math involved. From what I've gathered from doing this a few times, it seems like it's always going to be two, you know, kind of higher up numbers in one lower number. And that did not work. Imagine though, one of these times it will. I will get it right on a guess. All right, here's money. 31, 15, 10, I was close. And apparently there's a side Easter egg now, or there's two new side Easter eggs where there's one where you can cook a fish and then you can give it to Peck after you bribe them and get your money back. And there's another one where you can just blow up 50 fish and get Perkaholic, which I would try, but then we'd get PhD, which we're not allowed to use today. There we go. <laughs> What the fuck, Strauss? Bro is a sheep. I've actually never heard him do that voice line ever. That was fucking weird, dude. You're, you're a freak. And not in a good way. And it's looking like our weapon isn't one-shotting anymore without insta-kill, which kind of sucks. Now let's grab dead shot. Maybe that'll help us with our damage woes. I don't even know if you can hit crits with this. I know for sure in multiplayer you can headshot with it, but maybe it'll just help us damage-wise. Oh, you know what would be a good augment to use for this? The one where whenever I get a crit, it puts ammo back in my mag. I wonder if that would even work with this. But either way, let's start uh, getting this wonder weapon done. And that should be it for this part. On to the next. I will snap your balls. You just say he's gonna snap my balls? You leave my balls alone, buddy. You freak. Last island. Let's set that down. And we actually might need to use our killjoy. Let me get to it. Holy shit, there's a lot of zombies. But good news is we should be getting close. So at least getting our normal elimination kills done. Oh, I guess I don't know if that's good news or not. Because when we pack a punch this, it's going to do more damage, but have less splash damage. So it might be even harder to use. On top of ammo getting more expensive. Let's see if I can squeeze these in. Give me that. Oh, this is hurting. There we go. Frenzied, please. I please have a frenzied. There we go. Let's use it. Get by our ammo. Absolutely obliterate everything. Actually, you probably should have been doing this from the start. Coming over here and trying to do these trials and getting the wonder weapon and spamming kills. I think we're good. I think we're done. Now let's go back to the lab again. I love how I can just drive that on shore. It's an all-terrain vehicle. And I'm pretty sure we can build the wonder weapon now, right? Yep. Give me that. Thank you for your service, C9. And now we got to go find the hard drive. 
And from what you guys are telling me last time is that it'll spawn under the tentacle trap or from the tentacle trap that's got a ID under it. And I don't think it's at this one. We're getting close to round 25 too. We're uh, playing with fire. We need to start getting this done. Is this the right one? Come on. Don't think so. This one's got to be it. But I guess we'll never know. Oh, mutant injector. Holy shit, that got close. This is not the spot we want to be in. God damn, get out of my way. Did it drop it? Shit, dude. Did it drop and I just not notice it or what? Oh, it did. Give me. There you go, Peck. Take it. Now let's work on getting Nathan out of here. He needs the code and that is what? Five? Maybe four? I think it was four. Another four? Double fours? Holy bugs, dude. Go away. So four, four, eight. That looks like it's our code. Are we prepared to take on Nathan? I think we should be, right? All right, let's go uh, say hello to Nathan. Oh, shit. Ooh, made me pucker up. Actually, doing this whole Nathan part might be good for getting camos done. Because it's going to spawn in a decent amount of zombies. But we are not doing great on the damage department. We actually might need to pack a punch, like, now. Because we aren't even really getting kills. We're just getting hit markers. And if we're only getting hit markers on these normal zombies, the amalgamations are going to be a bitch to take out. Oh, there's Purple Tiger. Let's go. All I got to do is complain. So we should just get pack a punch anyways because we need to start getting 300 kills well packed. So let's grab that. Oh. Uh, I guess that's not terrible. We're, we can get kills again. And we get a bit more ammo to work with. Let's see if I can get the code. What did I say it was? 448? Did that work? Let's see. That does still stay locked. What about 548? Success. Where do I open it at? Nope, that's the code again. Locked! It says success. Five, four, eight. Nope. Three, four, eight. Got it. Come on out, buddy. We gotta put you down. Might as well pop our arsenal accelerator. So whenever he does get here, we can just spam him at this ammo box. Take that. No, bad. Bad Nathan. No touch. That's bad touch, Nathan. That still didn't kill him, though. We definitely are going to need pack two. We are very behind on pack a punch. But we have to keep buying ammo. Oh, wait, there's some on the ground. There definitely needs to be a perk in this game that helps you get ammo back. Oh, that works, too. Let's throw a decoy. Try to focus fire on Nathan for a second here. How are you not dead yet? There you go. Just needed one more rocket. I could smell the death on him. Oh, does it hurt Nathan? I wonder what his nuts look like in this form. And I love how Carver was just so eager to put him down. It's like, my, I don't care this is your brother. I just really need to shoot somebody. Night, night. Wait. Sorry, Maya. I've seen this too many times now. I do not care. I didn't really care the first time either. Because I don't really know who you are. And you're friends with Peck. So that's another uh, demerit. I completely forgot about this next part. Where we're going to have to go to the command room. And go all the way onto that boat and grab the the fiber cables it's actually gonna be tough to survive in there without pht we can't really just train our way around this one we might need cashmere's it's really hard to keep up with ammo now or, or points i mean we are spending more than we're making we might just have to use our wonder weapon for a little bit but i still need these camos too we're in a tough spot what if i do this i can hit him with one of these weaken them and then get some kills like that Does that work it should. I probably should have threw on cash back for one of our gobble gums. Actually, I can always just save and quit and throw it on. That's probably the best play at the moment. But we have to finish this round first. I don't want to redo the Nathan fight. All right, there we go. Can I save and quit now? I can. Hopefully, they don't mess up the Easter egg. I'm going to be pissed if it does. First, let's check our camo progress. We still need about 200 kills while it's packed. Oh, it's armored zombie eliminations. I was thinking of the EM1 or vermin kills that's not bad but we can edit this gobble gum pack we already have a legendary so we don't need that anymore let's get cash back and is there any augments i can throw on here that actually might help us a bit more dead again crits have a chance of adding a bullet back to your mag i don't feel confident enough that we can hit crits with this i might as well try dead again i think we're gonna hop back in i think we should still be good Hopefully. Yeah, it looks like we're still on the same step. We also need to grab this key card that I almost forgot about. Good thing we came back down here. Let's get our beam smasher pack a punch just for the occasion where we don't got ammo. And we should be able to activate this, right? Network connection error. Okay. All right, let's head in. 
Bugs, leave me alone. We gotta stun all you guys with this. I'll grab that, and hopefully we can survive. I think we should be okay. I think the first time I did this step, it traumatized me, because we got immediately messed up. It's actually not as bad as it looks, and it don't look bad at all right now. Oh, now we're low on ammo for our wonder weapon. This is sick. We still use this? Oh, that uses up ammo. I did not know that. I mean, it makes sense, but whatever. Max ammo. Now, we gotta find where we're missing these connectors at. Oh, right over here. Oh, we are very slow. Decoy. Let's just put this down. Perfect. Now, we just need to grab the last node and find where to repair it at. And it's in one of these caves that there's a place we can repair. I just don't remember which one. Looking like this one. Perfect. And now, we need to go hijack those buoys. Baba buoy. Let's get to hacking. I'm in the mainframe. Now we need to find the other two. Buoy number two. How do you do? If I get knocked in this water by some bugs, I'm gonna be mad. That's what I thought, bugs. This should be the last one. Then we just gotta go defuse the bombs, right? And then we can just dick around till we get our camos. Then we can do the final step. Well, I have a little remote control surprise of my own. No way she got the vibrating panties. Oh, this is gonna take a long time to defuse. We just gotta stick it out. Come on. There we go. All you die. No! Not good. At least we got enough to buy another self revive, but I think we're out of our uh, dying wish. Oh, shit. This is actually a very bad time to go down. Let's see if we can squeeze this in here. No, we cannot. You're just eating damage. Oh, this is not good. We're going to have to use our Killjoy. Give me that stem. And I don't even want to risk using my launcher right now. I do not want to take myself out with no self revive. We'll activate this. I guess now we can use our launcher. Oh, we got plenty of time, actually. We got three and a half minutes. No need to stress. There is an amalgamation now, though. So maybe a little bit of a reason to stress. Let's see if I can craft that. Gimme. We decoys, too. Where's this last bomb at? Oh, it's underneath here. Shit. There's way too many zombies. Gotta throw the decoy. And we're just gonna stick it. Hopefully the elites don't get to us. Throw another one. All the amalgamations here. Throw one of those. Let's see if a pack one wonder weapon's good enough to take these guys down. We should probably craft some more decoys or monkey bomb would work too. Let's not go down though. Don't need that. Holy shit. This is way closer than it needs to be. All right, monkey bomb time. Get over there and go to it. Can we stick it? Yes, we can. We're going to have to mangler. Nope. We're good. Okay. We made it through that part. We just need to try to grind our camos out here. And maybe be able to pack a punch again. We definitely need to be able to, but it's tough. It's tough out here. Oh, and there we go. One of our special camos. Oh, there we go. There's our armored kills. So now we just need to get kills within the same rocket. And then we got gold. Oh, shit. Not good. I think this is our last time we can buy a self-revive. But I guess what I could do is save and quit again and then switch my uh, quick revive augment. And then I can use it kind of like how it worked in Cold War, where I can just revive myself if I get a kill on the ground. But I don't know if I'm getting a kill while I'm on the ground because you can't really abuse Electric Cherry like you could in Cold War. Let's go ahead and get them all with the stun, the Stone Cold Stunner. Ooh. Oh, and there's mystic gold all right so the second we get set up we can go ahead and take on the final boss it might take a bit though to get set up they are not giving me any mercy here fuck you fuck you mangler fuck you that's our last self revive actually you know what let's get the full health and let's save and quit yep let's do that then we can switch out our quick revive augment and we should maybe even have our self revive back because it's going to put us back at the start of this round right okay we're back in and it is after we lost our self revive can we buy another one though nope we're screwed oh no let's not immediately go down right at the start oh a self revive let's go one for free we finally got enough for pack three let's go now let's hope saving and quitting didn't mess this up it doesn't look like it. I don't think we have anything left that we can grab. It's time to see if this will work because I'm going into this without a backup plan. If our Sigma can't kill it, then we're just going to die by the hands of patient 13. Bye-bye, Dr. Modi. 
And bye-bye, warheads. What's up, pal? Unfortunately for you, you might be cooked. So let's go ahead and use our free fire. Let's use idle eyes. And might as well throw on shields up. And light his ass up. Oh, that is doing some nice damage. That's doing really good damage. Let's just stay scoped in and spamming it. Already got him down to half health. Oh, is the phase ending? Not good. I did not prepare for this. How do we get the other phase to start? Come back up right now, please. We have to blow up all these tentacles. Come back. I didn't mean it, patient 13. You know, it was just rough. It was just rough housing, you know? I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't tell mom. Just whatever you do, come back. Oh, our, our free fire is gone. But we do have our backup free fire with Frenzied. If we can somehow get it. Oh, we are very low on actual ammo and money. But here's a max ammo. Let's throw a monkey bomb. See if that can't help me get our Frenzied guard. We'll light him up with this a little bit. Are these rockets doing? Oh, not the greatest. Ooh. These zombies are also just eating our wonder weapon damage. Actually, here we go. We got a chopper gunner. Let's use it. You enjoying this? Oh, that ain't, that ain't doing much to you either. But maybe we can take out a few zombies. Oh, actually, that's not bad. We'll just lay into them. Yeah, go underwater, coward. Gotta eliminate all this phallic members again. Oh, and there's an amalgamation. No! Bad. Oh, and he's back. What's up, dude? Oh, do I take the bait and go for that insta-kill? I kind of want to. Oh, shit. Not good. I don't know if I'm safe down here. Oh, please don't kill me. I think we're good. Holy shit. Let me through. Give me that max ammo. Oh, all right. Another nade. Let's see if we can get this frenzied. I just heard an amalgamation spawn. You got knocked over right here. No, don't you kill me. You stay the hell away. Come on, where's my frenzied? How do we not have it yet? Oh shit. Not good. Can I somehow get a kill wall down? Maybe him getting a kill might help us get one. Him doing this blast. Nope. All right, we're gonna have to use a self revive. Come on, we are so close to finishing this. If we get a frenzied, we win. Oh! Get away from me, amalgamation. No, 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 no! Shit! Come on. Where is like a vermin or something? Please, anything, there it is. That just got wiped off the face of the earth. Not helpful. Come on. It's so low. No! I think we're done. I think we're screwed. Unless there's gonna be something weak enough for us to melee kill. Oh, he's gonna eat us, isn't he? Nope. Damn. No ammo, no nothing. Oh, we are right at the door. We are knocking at the door. We're toast. And everything's running away from us. All right, you win this time, patient 13. Oh, this close. We are this close. But at least we go out getting Mystic Gold and by this sick animation of us going down into the patient 13 OC. That was pretty good, though. We made it pretty far just using the Sigma. I guess the Wonder Weapon did help out a bit, but only when we're out of ammo. And we did all that without PhD. And here is our Sigma 2B launcher with Mystic Gold on it. We finally got it done. Unfortunately, we weren't able to take out Patient 13, but we made it pretty far with this and we did it all without PhD. I think that is a challenge in itself. I added in that whole Patient 13 part on my own, but we did really good damage to him. Maybe if I would have just executed a bit better, we could have taken him out. But this is definitely a really good gun for fighting him. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate our love and support and i'll see you in the next one later